All right, we're back at the Raider Street hideout. We're gonna do an oil change on a Raider. I like to use wicks. I don't get paid by them at all, but uh, this particular application for 350 Windsor uh, Block 51515R. And I'm using the Valvoline VR1 2050. Uh, it's a roller valve train now. You don't really have to use the high zinc, but I like to because like Doc Paul says, it's filled with nutrients and and minerals okay so we'll be right back we're ready to drain all right we're prepping the filter the new filter to go on you know i'm sure i'm not telling you anything you haven't heard should lube this uh rubber seal up a little bit some people use the old oil i like to use the new no big deal and if you can Put a little oil in that filter as well. Mm -hmm. All right, we're putting these on, putting these filters on. Get them started nice and easy. Take your time, and they really should only be hand tight. So, if you work with your hands, you got a decent grip. Hand tight should be good. Don't go overboard. Okay. All right. Just giving it. The last few drops of the Valvoline. It takes a little while. There's a baffle in there. It doesn't flow so easy, but take your time. You get there. All right, oil change complete. Now, if you're of a certain age, I'm in my early 50s. When I was a little kid, pretty much every car on the road was carbureted. So, for you younger crew out there that's getting into this, don't Think you have to spend a lot of money on fuel injection. You get the carburetor dialed in right, and this one still isn't perfect. But you get in the car, pump the gas twice, turn the key, and let the uh, the choke do the rest. Now this is a cold start. I haven't started since yesterday. See my hands on the header. Mechanical uh, temperature gauge inside, but. This is a cold start with a, a motor right around 500 horsepower. Pump the gas twice. Turn the key. Temperature gauge is a gauge all the way to the left. I'm sorry, to the right down there. That was a cold start. So don't think you got to go out and spend a lot of money on fuel injection because the carburetor runs. It runs great. It ran well for decades. When you're finished with your oil, dump the old oil back in one of these cans and I think you can take it to AutoZone I take it to a local gas station don't just dump it in the yard if you can uh, if you can avoid that because uh, Democrats will come after you remember that 